ABC 10 News reporter Olivia Gonzalez Britt shows us how DMT will be studied starting next fall. You might have heard of DMT, a powerful psychedelic first synthesized almost 100 years ago. And scientists here at UC San Diego are looking to see if it could improve health and well-being by studying the brain. Can a psychedelic drug actually help cure depression, addiction, and even a stroke? Right here at UC San Diego, scientists are putting that idea to the test. They're focusing on DMT, a powerful psychedelic that our bodies already make in tiny amounts. We've established a track record on, on how to conduct this safely. As rates of depression, addiction, and a chronic pain climb, the scientists say new solutions are needed. Um, and conventional therapies and techniques aren't really working that well. In fact, there is no cure for those ailments. DMT has been used for centuries, and now UC San Diego researchers are using modern science to explore its healing potential. The thing about DMT is it has been used traditionally in indigenous cultures for spiritual purposes and for supporting overall health and mental health for centuries. A nearly two million dollar donation is helping them test what happens when they stretch the DMT trip. Here is that we can we can make these windows last upwards of 60 minutes as opposed to 10 to 15 minutes that are known to predict these health outcomes like alleviation of depression, etc. 20 healthy volunteers will get a dose of DMT, lie in an MRI scanner for an hour, while researchers watch their brain activity in real time. So while we're scanning people's brains uh, under the influence of DMT, we're expecting several things to happen across the cortex and below the cortex. It's part of what these scientists call a psychedelic renaissance, but they're moving carefully, determined to build treatments that stand the test of time. But we want to make sure that we do the work in the most safe, careful and focused fashion so that we can make the work that we publish During timeless. The experience. Their lab hopes to start recruiting participants this fall with 20 people expected to take part in the groundbreaking study. In La Jolla, Olivia Gonzalez-Britt, ABC 10 News.